gotta get the folks lost and unpack all the gear. We'll be fishing in the mornings and evenings too. Hoping to catch plenty so we don't mind losing a few. The song you just heard was written by myself and David Wood. It is performed by David. It was done for the fishing DVD, Unamas Fishing the Laguna Madre One More Time. In 2008, my company, Texas Outdoors Video, filmed, edited, and sold over 2,000 copies here in the valley. Back then, filming and editing required some special cameras and editing software. Today, you can do the same thing on nearly every phone out there. Times have changed a lot of things. One thing that has not changed much is the actual fishing. The boats and outboards have gotten better and more expensive. Our equipment has also improved greatly, but the techniques and methods for catching fish have not. In fact, many times we have to go back and rely on old ways of doing things in order to catch fish. I remember when I started fishing topwater lures. As a young man who grew up on the Texas coast, I was very accustomed to fishing shrimp under a popping card, and we did a lot of weight fishing. I remember watching trout hit my popping cart as I worked it across the surface. I also had done my share of bass fishing in small stock tanks on Texas ranches and enjoyed catching bass on top waters. I had a good friend who traveled to Port Mansfield several times a year. He owned one of the first shallow sport boats produced, and it was with him but I not only learned how to fish and run the shallows, but I learned to use top waters to catch trout and reds. We've come a long way since those days, but the thrill of watching a trout suck in a top water or a red demolish a skitter walk never dies. A minute ago, I mentioned David Wood. I should have said Captain David Wood. David recently retired from John Deere Mining and has decided that he wants to be a guide here in the LLM. He will make a great specialized guide as he is one of the best topwater fishermen I know. I say will, because as I am making this video, we are suffering from the coronavirus pandemic. All personal contact with others has been very limited here in Port Isabel, Texas. Even the boat ramps are closed and bait is almost non-existent. All our local bait shops are closed. The guide service in the LLM is suffering right now. I think we're nearing the end, but who knows? In 
In this footage, I am fishing the area known as 58. This is a very common gathering area for locals and our guides. I fished it a couple weeks back and there were very few boats in the area. Boats have been limited to two fishermen. In most cases, that's being adhered to. If you notice the morning on this video, we opened with almost no wind and we were greeted by glass slick conditions. As fishermen, we always pray for these kinds of conditions until we're actually confronted with them. Then we're asking for a little breeze and ripple on the water. The ripple is needed for top water to work well. Even though I have a very comfortable and stable boat, I enjoy weight fishing. There are lots of individuals who ask, why would you get out of a perfectly good boat? My answer is always the same. If the water is weightable, I'm going to be in it with the fish. I feel that weighting gives me an advantage over the drifting boat fisherman. When I find an area that holds fish, I can stay in that one spot and usually catch my share. When drifting, i found that when you pick up a fish and are ready for that second cast, you're usually out of the spot. Even power pulling down does not always guarantee you are in the spot. Now if I were a bait fisherman, shrimp or croakers, then anchoring down even close to a number usually gets you fish. That's the guide's way. I love fishing topwater lures, but as I get older and the back and shoulders start to go, I found that spending long hours working a topwater can lead to some serious hurts later on. Unless I'm constantly having blow-ups, I would usually change to plastic swim baits. I want to share with you a few of my favorites. First is a bait made by Hoagie Baits. It's a Hoagie four inch major minnow in what I call Halloween colors. This particular color is my consistent go-to bait when all else seems to not work. I started using this bait almost 10 years ago while fishing the Port Mansfield area. I have to almost always purchase this color online from Hoagie. I like to use a 1 8 ounce wide gap jig head with this bait. The second bait is sold by Yum. It's a 4 inch mud minnow in black and chartreuse. I found this to be a good bait in the heat of the summer. Fish slow and deep. The only place I can find these are on eBay. Again, I like to use a 1 8 ounce wide gap jig head. The next baits are sold by H&H &H Lure Company. These are called Queen Cohos. I like the red and whites with various tail colors. They seem to work all year round. The last selection of plastics are also sold by Yum. They're called Yum Money Minnows in five and six inch sizes. They're super soft and I like to fish them in the winter and spring. You do not have to put any action with these as the large tails tend to do their own thing. The one problem I have with these large baits is hookups. Trout tend to suck it in and hold on, but are never really hooked. 
I've had lots of good trout bite all the way to the net, only to spit it out at the last moment. There are many colors of this bait available and can be purchased from Yum or most tackle shops. Again, using a 16th or an 8th ounce jig head work great with these large baits.
Even though I just recently edited and put this footage together, I filmed it several years back. I started having lots of back and leg pains prior to the pandemic hitting. I traveled to a specialist at Fondren Orthopedic Clinic in Houston back in March and found that I needed a double hip replacement. I was ready for it the next day. But then the pandemic put a damper on elective surgeries. I'm scheduled for late April if all goes well. It's been some time since I've been on the water, but I did manage a trip several weeks back. No weight fishing, but we did manage to secure a limit of good trout. I found that doing these videos keeps me occupied and out of my wife's hair. Hopefully, I'll be back in the water and on the water by midsummer. God willing. Keep me in your prayers. Again, here's Captain David Wood with Unamas. Cheers!